What's up, everyone? Uh, Fish Tank TV people and uh, Fired Up uh, Tank. I forgot what the website is, but uh, you guys know who you are. Anyways, I know I haven't made a video in a while. I've been kind of busy. Uh, but yeah, today I actually added 10 ghost shrimp and I bought uh, a new fern that I'm going to show you guys. Hopefully it grows good. I looked it up online, it was alright. Uh, but yeah, last week I didn't do much of a recording or anything. Uh, it was pretty much my tank was a mess. It's still a mess. I don't know how well you could see um, the algae problem that I was having last week is kind of going away now. Um, so did the snails. I had a lot of snails popping up, but I've been throwing them out. Uh, this is the corner guy right here. He's grown even bigger um, All the way up to the top. There's actually all of this up here uh, That's from that plant um, I think that's called the plant is called the pongitanus or something like that I, I was actually at the Petco store today, and I saw the the package where I got this from and I think that was the name that it mentioned on it uh, this dwarf grass right here is starting to uh, sprout most of it is brown I actually got to trim most of it um, I'm trying to find the autos I moved the autos over here to help with the algae problem oh you see there's one of them right there Yeah, they seem to like it underneath um, the filter right there. Um, I actually added some more rocks. Yeah, now you can really see uh, all that gunk growing in the tank. As you can see, halfway through is clean and then towards the bottom is dirty. I, I cleaned a lot from the top, but uh, the bottom I left a little bit for the autos and whatnot. But yeah, it just got way too out of hand. Then the snails were shitting everywhere, pissing me off. That's why I'm trying to get rid of them. They turned out to be pond snails. I looked them up. Uh, supposedly, they're not the best things to have in your tank. And this is one of the... That's the new fern right there. I attached it to the rock. Uh, that fern... Um, I'll get to it. I forgot the name of it. Uh, I think it's called Asian fern. If I'm not mistaken, let me look at the uh, Yeah, it's an Asian water fern. So uh hopefully that works. Uh that's one of them there. The other half um I have it there. That's the wisteria kinda got hooked up, I gotta move it from the Lu Luigia. Um, as you can see, the Luigia is actually uh, picking color right back up. And uh, it's actually growing. I've cut some and I planted them over here, right here. They were already growing from those. Uh, this right here is the Java Fern. It's actually growing pretty nicely. That big leaf back in there with the black that's about to be dead I didn't want to cut it because it was the only leaf I have now I it's kind of further back in uh, so I'm not too sure I'm just gonna let it right out and you can probably already start to see the shrimp moving around yo this sand was dirty 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 the snails were just shitting all over the place and for some reason, uh, the, the sand, as you can see, some of it, you know, I really couldn't clean all of it up because some is underneath the, the plants and uh, I don't want to mess up the plants. Uh, but yeah, all of this was just a nasty brown color and you can see all their shit. Um, as you can see, the hair grass is growing nicely. The Argentinian sword picking up nicely. And the tiger lotus is just growing insane. I don't know if you can tell, that's the second lotus plant that started growing back there behind my hygrophilia. 
um, and the high grow is actually doing pretty nicely it's picking up some color too and as you can see there's more coming up and then look at this bunch that I have right here that's how it is every day sometimes they just float on top of the tank but today I've been moving everything around a lot so they're kind of submerged I kind of like it when they're on top and they look like a lily pad Um, yeah, but uh, overall, the tank is coming out pretty nicely. Um, I'll do a ten, the 10 gallon in a little bit. Um, I actually got a new gold gourami. Um, and I'll show her. It turned out to be a girl. And this right here is a new addition to the family. Hey, Jeannie, say hi to the camera. I don't know why I got a cat. They can be bitches sometimes. Hello. There you go. Yeah, I adopted the cat. Uh, I went to the pet store twice. And she kept trying to get my attention. So I just decided to adopt her. her name is Jeannie. She's a brown tabby. She's a year and a half. Yeah, I've had her for two days and... She settled in quite nicely. Very affectionate cat. All right, so uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, that's the 55 gallon. The sword back there is uh, growing out pretty nicely. And the angustifolia, all of them have actually, after I trimmed them, they've all, the green color came back and new leaves are starting to grow. So they're looking great. Uh, that's the wisteria attached. I just finished leaving it there and the java moss I think that means the bright green tips it means it's going to start to grow new stuff because it just turned nasty brown and that's the crescent java fern that baby right there is doing really nice alright so that's the update on my 55 gallon I'll probably uh, move the gold gourami Probably later on this week. Uh, I'm not so sure if she's actually going to eat the ghost shrimp, which is what I'm afraid of. But uh, I got to do some research. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll do a shout out in the next video, too. I have a few new subscribers from last week. Uh, um, I remember Rayma's one of them. What's up? Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoy the tank. Any questions, comments, let me know. Uh, talk to you guys later on the chat.